I'm in Rakahanga now, my Wimoto, my coconut, and it is ridiculously beautiful here. The population's only about 50 or 60, and it's a really remote island in Northern Cooks, and it's super hard to get to because there's no anchorage or moorings, so uh, Captain Kim's actually having a motor the boat back and forth while we unload all the cargo and get it all sold, and so not too many people step a foot on uh, Rock a hangout that are outsiders, so I'm pretty stoked to be able to, to have this opportunity. Goodbye, coconut. I'm finished with you. Ugh. What a ridiculously beautiful place this is. Like, this is unreal. No tourism, just this laid back island. I was talking with a, a health official here, and he moved to New Zealand for like 20 years and came back and and he's talking about how people like to come back here to retire No joke, I feel like I'm walking through some kind of crazy dream right now. Like this is surreal. I would not mind dropping out of life and living here. Although fanning's nice too, but this is fantastic. You gonna need a fish pond? Is the fish pond that way? Yeah, it's on this side there. Yeah. Very close? Yeah. Well, that guy was super nice. He just drove his moped down this little strip of beach right here, and and uh, he says that they go do picnics over on the other side at some of the islets over there, and just invited me to take me out on his boat over to other parts of the lagoon. I was like, of course, that sounds fantastic. So right now I'm walking towards the fish pond. He says it's just right up here. Uh, check that out, see if it's interesting saw from the drone it looked pretty neat and then head on back and maybe go do that because why not there's some kind of interesting shack structure over there holy shit look at this Looks like now I might have to get a little sketchy and go into this tunnel of uh, coconut palms. We'll see where this magical road takes me. I'm starting to think I might have passed the fish pond. Oh, it's opening up again. It was getting pretty thick there for a minute. and looked like, oh, there's a, a house here or shed or something this is fucking ridiculous oh my gosh you can see the line right over there where it just drops off it goes super deep from shallow this is insane This little shed just must be a little hangout area for locals. I'm gonna walk out into the water. Oh, I think that might be the fish pond right over there alongside, so I'm gonna wade on over. This is fucking magical. Holy shit.
I'm having a complete mental breakdown as just to how beautiful this place is. I really wish I brought my other camera so I could like zoom in on the 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 ledge over there and get some other shots. But this is surreal. This is probably the most beautiful lagoon I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just it's a small lagoon and it's it's perfect size. Like this is just idyllic. Idyllic. Oh I see the fish pond. It's through here. This must be the fish pond. Definitely see a lot of little fish down there. Look like little tilapia or something. I don't know if it's fresh water. It must be like brackish water in order for freshwater fish, but it's it's beautiful. The contrast between this turquoise blue lagoon and this less turquoise blue lagoon. Um, like this is a fine line right here that I'm standing on. Huh. Well that was well worth the trek. Well worth the trip. So I found the road going back. No longer walking alongside the lagoon, which is only right there. But uh, I'm gonna head back now, film some of the Kwai store, and well, maybe go on a little picnic out to the outer islands. We'll see if we have time. Apparently, we're leaving this evening. Next stop is Manahiki. Um, yeah, I am so stoked to be able to check out these islands. Apparently the northern group of the Cook Islands is as remote as they get, in terms of the Cook Islands at least. If you could like paint the picture of an idyllic paradise, this would be it. Is your boat here? Yep, this is our boat. Is it easy to get in and out of the pass? Yeah. Is it easy to get in and out of the pass? Yeah, yeah, but depends, eh? I think it's on the system. This is where our guide said that the islanders all come for picnics and I'd have to say this is the best damn picnic spot I've ever seen. Whoa.
they ran off somewhere while I was filming stuff, so now I gotta go find them. But I mean, what a spot for a picnic! This little islet here in the middle of the, the break and the atoll, and uh, his pass is both going out to the ocean. I don't know where they went. Oh, there he goes.
Nice meeting you, man. Take care. Yeah.